Prepare your mind for an upgrade of consciousness. Get yourself into a comfortable position, take a deep breath, and open your mind to the wonders of your true nature. If you have seen the original pilot of this video, please prepare for a reboot. Humanity is evolving at an exceptional rate. Today we bear witness to a time never before seen in history. The rapid increase of technological development has brought new levels of global interconnectedness to billions. It could be said that we are living in the most amazing period in recorded history, but even if that's true, most don't recognize it, living instead in an illusionary paradigm of thought and feeling. The past, present, and future are a cyclical dynamic continuum, all affected and ultimately managed by the consciousness of the present moment and that which is beyond time and space. While our material bodies only move forwards in time, the particles and waves underlying the fabric of reality move non-linearly beyond time and space, the very same dimension that our thoughts operate within, which too can travel forwards and backwards in time. It is through the mind we may come to experience both the past and the future as potential realities dancing on the waves of limitless existence. Many believe today that the past has little bearing on who we are today, and we should only look to the future. Some may think that ancient traditions and cultures are no longer needed, but if we forsake where we came from, we will only repeat the same mistakes until we learn the lessons that we are here to learn. Were one to look closely at the cycles that our species has evolved through, we would find a continuum of learning and implementation across generations. In ancient Sumeria, the 24-hour clock was established, still used to this day. Through biblical times, Laws and principles of righteousness were established, which are still greatly honored in present society. The discovery that one could burn oil to light a lamp led to the burning of oil for an engine. And cars are measured today in horsepower, a term derived from quite literally the amount of power one horse could provide. From the refinement of our understanding, new tools, systems, and ways of being are developed, which shape who we become. If we look deep enough into our ancient past, we may discover that we have gone through many cycles of forgetting and remembering, such as the hieroglyphs of ancient Egypt suggests, with their carvings of what appear to be futuristic-like energy technology. Egypt holds many mysteries for us still yet to understand, such as the profound precision of the Great Pyramids or the weather erosion on the Sphinx, suggesting that it dates back significantly farther in time than when humans were believed to have been able to produce such feats. Today, we may think of ourselves as mighty with all of our technology, but technology alone does not make a civilization great. With everything we've built, we walk a fine line on the brink of our own self-destruction. Today, a vast majority of people find themselves so focused on aspects of life that are narrow slivers of all that is. Few know the light of their souls, instead so busy running in the rat race of happiness and fortune, a never-ending wheel that seems impossible to escape and filled with suffering and letdowns. Do not be afraid. Whether you feel you are free from the matrix of delusion or this is speaking to exactly where you are, the next steps for all of us are the same. It must be understood that at the fundamental levels of reality, all things exist in a dynamic interconnected unity that breathes life into the multiplicity of creation. This unity has been named by nearly all cultures and religions over human history. Terms like God, spirit, source, supreme divinity, and creator are often used. And even in science today, the unified field. Spirit is one which we have found to be very useful for the modern mind because the term itself speaks to an animating principle, both etymologically and through its modern definition, describing both a soul or spiritual force, a sense of cosmic beingness, and even that cosmic mystery which causes life to arise and move within reality itself. From a scientific perspective, we would observe this relative to the subatomic frequencies through which the material reality is animated. Mystics have said that this is how divine energy is translated into life force which emerges in living beings. But how does a dynamic interconnected unity 
give rise to the multiplicity of creation that we find ourselves in today, where everything appears separate and divisible? The answer is simple. Through the dimensions of consciousness, mind, and matter, energy is translated and transformed through various states, giving us the reality we find ourselves in today. While we all share the same animating principle, we find ourselves operating within our seemingly limited and individuated bodies, and the perception of separateness pervades our very existence. From this separateness, division reigns. Today, families are divided amongst themselves. Countries are at war with each other, and many countries are even at war with their own people in a multitude of ways. Some countries openly oppress their people and others manipulate them in secret. It is through our perception of disconnectedness that allows such distortions to take place. Through greed, fear, shame, and grief, we cause and facilitate the matrix of illusion. If we perceived the underlying unity, we would never seek to betray or take advantage of each other in any regard and we would nurture and honor this planet and the limitless potential that we have to create within life and within our amazing solar system, becoming responsible stewards of creation. Some may believe that creating and living in a world of perfect peace is impossible. Do not believe such a thing. Through our beliefs, we shape the world that we create. Many may believe it impossible because the belief systems of various religions and world cultures are incompatible with each other. They are paradoxical and cannot be reconciled. Nonsense. Paradox is reconciled in our ability to hold multiple contradictory ideas in our minds at the same time. The same way a quantum computer works, it is simply a skill that has to be learned and practiced. When we do this, weighing all ideas against the sword and scales of truth, unbiased by the desire to be right, we realize that opposing ideas are often two ends of a polarizing spectrum of the same idea and are not as far from each other as we think. It is only then that we can speak from truth, having compassion on others for their perspective and not from the limitation of our own ego's ideal. If we are to collectively create world peace, we must be willing to ask and explore the meaning of truth with a capital T. Truth must be understood as a light that illuminates all minds beyond the shadow of belief into the revelation of authentic understanding. Many people today will suggest that there is only subjective truth, but this is a lower dimension of consciousness based on opinion and belief Higher truth can be experienced and known, but it must be penetrated by the clarity of mind and the relinquishing of attachments. While some are willing to have respectful debates about the nature of what is authentically real, many are more inclined to bury themselves in their personal beliefs, creating an echo chamber of perspective rather than exploring ideas other than their own. This is problematic for various reasons, the primary being that it further creates more dissension between us all. Truth must be understood as a concept, not a one specific thing. The word itself comes from the etymological root deru, meaning enduring, and from which we find the same root of words such as everlasting, tree, sturdy, steadfast, and stability. It is also related to the Hindu concept of dharma, which is said to be the upholding or eternal principles upon which all of reality is based. Therefore, we might see the connection between truth and that which is enduring. And this is why we should honor the wisdom teachings of the masters of our ancient past, which have withstood the test of time. And of course, even the scientific discoveries and their implementations, which too have lasted for generations. These are enduring because they bear within them the seeds of truth with a capital T. It is easy to blur the lines between subjective truth and higher truth. We all have our own perspectives, beliefs, and opinions 
and such things are filtered through our life experiences, habits, environments, upbringing, friends and families, entertainment, and so on. What one considers true might not be true to someone else who has had a radically different experience. Where one prefers the left, others may prefer the right. Such perspectives are not absolute truths, but are subjective to the individual who believes them. Those with the eyes to see and the ears to hear can recognize not to hold such biases in their minds and can identify truth from falsehood across the entire spectrum of reality. When one can see truth, they pierce the illusions and discover that which is genuinely meaningful and live peaceful, wise, and harmonious lives. Are you ready to open your eyes? Subscribe to this channel and prepare yourself. You are about to begin a journey into the infinity of your pure beingness. See you in part two. The mysteries of this world run very deep, and the further we go, what we find may come as a shock. If we're not prepared, the journey of awakening could become too intense for us to handle, or we limit or isolate ourselves from reaching the highest potential of what we can become. The great masters among us today, and those of the ancient past, all said the same thing. Those who are guided go not astray. When we learn from those who themselves have tasted true enlightenment, we ourselves discover the path to get there. If we try and figure everything out by ourselves, we may never get there at all. For us, the Tao Te Ching was one of the most enlightening materials that helped us to find the way. And today we'd like to invite you to experience this new translation and commentary called The Virtual Way. Could it be that thousands of years ago, the mystic sage Lao Tzu described the holographic matrix of reality? When one really takes in his message, the answer is yes. And he explains further how all of us can break free of the illusions within and in the world to become perfectly in tune with the spiritual divine. Alongside this fresh translation, which draws upon the original Chinese transcript written over 2,500 years ago, you will also find extensive commentaries comparing the wisdom teachings with modern quantum mechanics and other spiritual wisdom from around the world. To dive down this rabbit hole, use the link in the description to get your copy. It's guaranteed to be an enlightening experience and prepare you for what's to come.